Hey sugar geeks, today we're gonna to be making a southern coconut cake that's packed full of creamy coconut flavor. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this one, coming up next on The Sugar Geek Show. All right, so we're gonna place our egg whites into a large bowl and our cream of tartar, which is optional, but it does help stabilize the egg whites. And we're gonna whip these up to firm, moist peaks. Look at these beautiful, glossy, soft peaks. That is exactly what you want. Um, they hold their shape, but they're not like crumbly and falling apart, so that's perfect. What do you know? It's like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so now that our egg whites are whipped, we're gonna start making our batter. Good cake starts with butter. Into the mixer, and we're gonna just start creaming that. I'm using my new Bosch mixer, but if you're using a KitchenAid still, totally the same process. Alrighty then, and now I'm gonna start sprinkling in my sugar. Don't just dump it in there because then you'll get clumps and nobody wants clumpy coconut cake. I'm mixing on speed number one on my Bosch, but if you were mixing on your KitchenAid, it'd be like two or three. Now I'm gonna add in my oil. And now we're gonna let this mix until it is white and fluffy. Walk away. So normally on the KitchenAid, this takes a little while, but that literally was like 30 seconds and it's done. This is what we're looking for. Nice, white, and fluffy. This literally gives the, the coconut cake its super light texture, so don't skip it. So our egg whites, butter, and oil are nice and fluffy, so now we're gonna start adding in our egg yolks one at a time to just incorporate it. Don't dump them in there. Lumps, coconut, not good, remember? That looks so good, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna add our salt baking soda and baking powder to our flour and just whisk that up. And then the secret to a good Southern coconut cake, buttermilk, coconut extract, and vanilla extract. All right, let's finish this batter. I'm gonna go ahead and add in about one third of my dry ingredients, mixing on low, and then add some liquids and alternate two times. So your finished cake batter should be nice and thick. All right, now we're bringing back our fluffy egg whites and you're just gonna put a couple of those scoops right in there and we're gonna fold. So basically all folding is, is just making sure that we're not like mixing too vigorously. So I'm just kind of just going, taking my spatula and just moving around the edges and we're lightening the batter, lightening it. So I just take a couple scoops at a time, don't rush it. Put on some music, take your time. <laughs> you can already see how much lighter this batter is getting. With the last bit of egg whites, I'm gonna add in my coconut and then just fold it all together until it's just combined. If you could smell this, like, ugh, it smells so good. The toasted coconut is like really what brings out that flavor. I'm gonna try not to drool into the batter. So you can see all those really beautiful pieces of coconut in the batter. It's nice and light and fluffy and ready to bake. All right, I'm gonna divide this batter into three eight inch cake pans. If you don't have three, you can definitely just do two and then uh, tort your cakes. But for this cake, because it's got like coconut pieces in it and it's a little bit hard to cut, I like to just bake it into three pans. Just spread it out. You can see it's fairly thick. All right. Go ahead and bake your batter for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. So now we're gonna let this cool for 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip it over and then let it cool the rest of the way before we start stacking. Okay, we're gonna make Southern buttercream, AKA cream cheese frosting. <laughs> winning, winning. Okay, so we're gonna add butter into my fancy Bosch mixer. My precious. <laughs> we're gonna cream that till smooth. And then I'm gonna start adding in my cream cheese. And now I'm gonna start adding in um, my powdered sugar, one cup at a time, just so that it doesn't like explode all over the place and give me a powdered sugar facial. <laughs> and um, just until it's combined, and then I'm gonna add in my extract and it'll be done. And yeah, so that's perfect. Done super fast. Gonna add in my coconut extract. I love this thing. All right, let's start assembling our coconut cake. I've got three layers of my coconut cake baked and chilled, so it's easy to handle. I'm not gonna even trim this because it's Southern, it's rustic, you know? The inside is also toasted, so you're not gonna really notice it when you do the slices. 
And then I have my coconut cream cheese frosting. Oh yeah. I highly recommend you get generous with that. So the, I was inspired by this uh, recipe when I went to Memphis with some of my blogging friends. And so we went to this bakery called The Commissary in Germantown. Everybody was like, you gotta go to The Commissary. So we did. And we tried one of all of the desserts and I, I thought that I was gonna really love the chocolate cream pie. And I actually really loved the coconut cake. <laughs> and we seriously sat there and ate the whole slice because it was just so good. It was just a simple coconut cake with cream cheese frosting and coconut frosting on the outside. And it just screamed like, eat me, <laughs> you know, it was so good. So that's what this coconut cake is inspired by. The only difference is I use toasted coconut inside my cake instead of just white coconut because I don't like the, the texture of white coconut very much. But I did keep just plain white coconut on the outside just for contrast and color. I'm a designer, sue me. I tried a version where it was toasted coconut on the outside and it was just like brown on brown. It was just like not very pretty. You could totally toast your coconut for the outside too though. So to get my swirl, I'm just gonna take a little spoon, starting in the center, and then work my way out. I'm not pressing very hard. And I'm literally just gonna make sure that I use the rest of the frosting on the outside, cause why waste it? All right, now to place the coconut on the cake. This is a very fancy technique called hold the cake and don't drop it. <laughs> We're gonna hold the cake over the top of a sheet pan and take our coconut and just press it up against the side. This is nice fresh coconut. Ah, oh, so cute. Ah, oh, time to eat the cake. Fork. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I think this cake could give the cake from Memphis a run for its money. It's bragging a little bit. I'm just letting you know. Oh, it's so good. It's so moist. Tons of coconut flavor. Yeah, you need this cake. Mm, mm, mm. 